good morning. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, look at all our friends here today. Thank you for joining me for our Monday social studies lesson. Is everybody awake? Kind of. <laughs> Ava's awake. That's good. All right, guys, let's get started. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to do some social studies. We're going to learn a lot today. It's going to go pretty quickly, I think. Um, and then I do have a couple of a couple of little announcements afterward, okay? So we have to choose a new teacher helper. So let's see who we're going to choose today, who's here and has not done this yet and is a confident reader and speaker, someone who doesn't mind reading the promise. And let's see who has not done it. Well, let's see, we've had... We've had Almo, and we've had Addie, right? Have we had Almo? Oh, wait. Well, no, we had, we had, um, who was that? Ava, right? Was it Ava? No, it was Ruby. It was Ruby. I see I'm remembering everybody. <laughs> so the last one was Ruby. Ruby, would you like to choose someone to be a teacher helper this week? Yes. Who would you like to choose? If you need help reading their names, let me know. Okay. We have Emmy, Adeline, Mackenzie, Ava, Asa, Leon, Isaac. Ava. Ava, it's you this week. All right, let me write that down so I remember. Ava is this week. Thank you so much, Miss Ruby. Ava, are you ready? Let's go through our promise. Go for it. Um, participate, be respectful, on time. Um, microphones muted. Include full name and chat. Stay seated, eyes on me. Woohoo! Wonderful job. Thank you, Miss Ava. All right, we are going to announce who our Zoom, our sorry, our weekly spotlight friends will be tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. We're going to look for an awesome Zoom promise keeper. Everybody who just, what they just heard, Miss Ava share, all of those things the whole time. Keep those promises. Got it? Okay. And someone for amazingly detailed responses. No one word answers. No one sentence answers any longer. Yeah, we're in, we're big kids now. We need lots of writing. And working hard, someone who's on pace. Okay, back to you, Miss Ava. What is today? Um, Monday, October 2022, 10. Yep. Very good. Today is Monday, October 10th, 2022. Beautiful job. Thank you. And who is our, well, you know who they are, Feruza and Isabella. Happy birthday to them. We, we celebrate all month long. Now we're ready to jump into our lesson, our social studies lesson. Today, you will examine, oh, this is a cool lesson. We, some of you guys will know what the United States symbols are, but let me tell you, we're gonna explore different symbols and landmarks in the United States so we can understand their meaning and what they symbolize. Symbolize means what they mean to people, what, what they actually like. I mean, if you, oh, I, I just thought of something. What if uh, your, mom, your mom goes to the store and she sets out I don't know, let's say she sets out your snacks, right? But she puts something really high up that you can't reach. What does that symbolize? That you can or you cannot have it, right? So something along the lines like that, or let's say that they put a sign out for a delivery person and it's this symbol with a red line through it, you know, and like a picture of a mat. So it symbolizes to the delivery person not to leave the things right there on the mat. It says, don't do it. So symbolize means what it means. So let's, oh, someone's 
joining us. Let's near pod right away. This is a big long one with lots of activities and Please lots put in of the chat box. Yes, ma'am. Lots of things to explore. So let's get started. Okay, hold on. I'll pop it in there in just a second. Copy. And coming back to you guys and let's put that in the chat. Here's our link. And then the code is A6YX8. Ooh, that's a weird one. Hi, Feruza. Yeah, say hi to everybody. Okay, there is our Nearpod code. Today we have Emmy and Addie and Mackenzie and Ruby and Asa and Leon and Isaac and Ava and Feruza all here today. Thank wait, you. Wait, do we get to do a uh, time to climb or no? Uh oh, you'll have to wait and see. Don't unmute. You'll make you a promise. <gasps> oh no. Okay, don't do that. So here we go, guys. I have it in the chat. I have the link. I have the code. You ready? Let's see how many friends we have. We have four friends already in. Check out that eagle. That bald eagle. Does it look familiar to anyone? Did you know that that is a symbol of our country? Hmm. Really fascinating information of why they chose a bald eagle. Six friends are in. Let's make sure you can see it. Can you see the bald eagle, Adeline? Yeah, and where's my teacher helper? Thank you, Ava. Can you? See? Oh, I admit I lost Ava. Ava, can you see it? Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna get. Yeah, can you see that? Can you see the bald eagle on my screen? No. Um, on your screen it oh. still says it, like, um, near pod it still says near pod. Does it have? A, does it have a? Doesn't have a bird on there, does it? No. Okay, thank you for sharing. Let me go ahead and find that. I did it. You did yeah. it? Woohoo! All right, you guys should see on my screen too a picture of a bald eagle. I hope you do, because he is a very important symbol of our country. Let's get started. What are some symbols of America and what do they have in common? That's our essential question. If you look around your house, if you look around your town, you might see some symbols of our country that are important. By the end of the lesson, we're going to be able to examine and, you know, explore different symbols of America. And we're going to look at three specific landmarks. And I know that some of you might have visited these places. You will consider their meaning and what they symbolize and identify common meaning, meanings. Oh, okay, let's get started. All right, all right, move on, move it, Mrs. Cruz. Oops, I went too fast. Symbols are used for many reasons. They can express in a, oh, Ava, do you have a question? Ava, do you have a question? Yes. Um. Actually, the Nearpod's not working, so can I just listen? Absolutely. Thank you for checking. Symbols are used for many reasons. They can express an idea, maybe advertise a product, or make people feel proud to be part of a group. They can be landmarks or maybe buildings, animals, food. Oh, animals like the bird we just saw, the bald eagle, food, costumes, and many other things. So we use symbols to tell us things. It's information. Instead of standing there and explaining it in detail, we'll just use a symbol. Mm -hmm. All right, symbols can be many different things. Let's look at the three pictures on your screen and talk about what countries do these symbols represent? Now I'm gonna give you the answers and you can write the first letter on each of the pictures. You ready? One of them is Japan. One of them is France. France. <laughs> and one of them is the United States of America. So you can write a U for United States of America or USA. You can write F for France and you can write J for Japan. These are pictures of a food, an animal, and a landmark 
that represent different symbols for different countries. So let's see who knows it, who knows it. Yep, if you got the sushi right, that's like my favorite food next to pizza. Japan, very good guys. France, France. Has anybody here been to France? I've never been to France. Would you like to go to France? Yeah, oh, me too. All right, and then of course, have you ever been to the United States of America? Mrs. Cruz, we live here. <laughs> have you traveled throughout the country though? I've been to about 13 states. I need to go to more. Excuse I'd like me. to go to a lot more. Uh-oh, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't unmute. Moving on, guys. All right, so here we go. The bald eagles, United States of America, the sushi is Japan, and the does anyone know what that's called? Raise your hand if you think you know. Oh, Mackenzie, go ahead. What is that big tall tower called? The Eiffel Tower. Have you been there? I've not been there, but my aunt and uncle have been there before. Very cool. Did they show you pictures? Yeah. Yeah, and the Eiffel Tower is a landmark. Then anytime anyone sees it, it tells them they know what country it's from. Yeah, but I've been wanting to go there. <laughs> Me too. Thank you for sharing, love. Let's roll on. Thank you, Mackenzie. All right, so let's see what's coming next. A blank screen. Miss Cruz, we don't like blank screens. Load. Load. What other symbols of the United States can you think of? All right, I'm going to throw out some ideas, as you will too. So at the bottom, share your thoughts about what other symbols that you might think of in the United States. How about, ooh, let's think. <laughs> I found one. I have to capitalize it, though. Anybody recognize that one? If you see Mickey Mouse, you know he originated in the United States. That's right. Disney World is a place and also a symbol of our country. After it became so popular, they started to make Disney, Disney theme parks in other parts of the world. Oh, there's the Statue of Liberty. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I can't read that, Asa. Oh, look at the flag, Isaac, how great. Call the sushi and the tower. Yep, definitely. The flag, you got it, Ruby. Excellent job. Mm -hmm. Let's explore. Oh, I love it. Yeah, if you see, uh, if you see um, 4th of July fireworks, that's also, you know, something that we use a lot in the United States it can be a symbol. Yeah. Oh, I love it. All right, guys. Are you guys ready? How about the, how about like the map? How about, how about the capital? Ooh. Lots of things. Oh, what about the Grand Canyon? There's no place like that on earth. If you see a picture of the Grand Canyon, that is definitely a landmark, isn't it? Ooh, there's another flag. All right, guys, roll on, roll on. Here we go. Let's explore. So what we're going to do right now is visit some places. Oop, Ava, I'm coming to you in a little bit. Okay, let me roll on. Some famous symbols of America include the U.S. flag, the bald eagle, the seal of the United States. That, see that stamp or seal? That means it's the United States, right? Other symbols can be places or landmarks. Here's one that we're going to talk about in detail. Can I read this real quick? I'm gonna choose somebody to read in the next one, but here comes the first one. Listen carefully, this is so cool. The Liberty Bell is a huge bronze bell that symbolizes freedom. It has a large crack that is clearly visible. After it cracked, the old bell was melted down and then it was remade, but it still has the crack in it. Let's explore its old home in Independence Hall. As you explore, think about why people would have come from all parts of the world to see and hear the bell ring. All right, so take a minute to walk around. If you do not have the uh, capability of moving your screen around, I'll do it for you so you can watch my screen. And this is in Independence Square. 
And as we scroll around, notice it's gated or roped off or chained off. And this was a historical place. They have statues here. This is where the bell resides up in that bell tower. And they ring the bell for some reason. Anytime someone sees a cracked bell, they think of the United States. Look at all the people there. All right, let's see. Let's talk about this bell a little bit more. Did you know that when they melted down the bell and they made it the restored bell was probably rung at the public reading of a very important document called the Declaration of Independence in 1776. It rang to announce many important events, including presidential elections and was even taken on tour all around the country. Ava, did you have a question? Um. Next time we go to New York, my mom's going to take me to the Statue of Liberty. Oh, that's awesome. I have been there because I was raised in New Jersey when I was a little girl. And I actually, um, they, they shut this down. But when I was a little girl, you could climb all the way up to the torch where, the, where she holds the torch. But then they closed it because you couldn't go up that high anymore. It was too dangerous. It rang, oh, so what did they do with this bell? It, they rang, listen carefully, this is part of a quiz. Oh, you're gonna be quizzed on this, listen again. The bell rang to announce important events like presidential elections. And when they read the Declaration of Independence, that's right. In 1776, that was a long time ago, guys. So load, load, load. Why do you think people come? Oh, they spelled the word come wrong. To see a cracked bell. Why, what is the importance of the cracked bell? Why would people come travel to see it? Why do they want to hear it ring? What does it mean? <gasps> I've got this. Let's see if I can share what I think. All right, can you read that? <laughs> what do you think that says? Beiruza, what does it say? Can you tell? Freedom! <laughs> also, it's history, right? This is part of our history. So maybe we come from all over the world just to see its part, how, how it helped shape the United States. All right, it's okay if you didn't get a chance to answer. Oh, it's important. You're right, Emmy. All right, five, four, three, two, one. We have a lot to do. Let's roll. Who wants to read about the Lincoln Memorial? Who? Emmy, I'm ready. I see your hand. Go for it. Sorry, I like to read. <laughs> Other landmarks are also symbols. Symbols America. Let's explore other ones of these fabulous, fabulous symbols. Fam <laughs> famous, you, you got it. Yep. Tell who the statue is. Oh, pay attention to how his hands have been represented. Set. Yeah, represented. Wow, that was great, Emmy. So. <laughs> We don't always have flags or animals. We can also have statues. Oh my goodness, was the last time you saw a statue? What does it mean? What does it symbolize? So who is this? If this is the Lincoln Memorial, can you tell who it is? Ah, who is the Lincoln Memorial statue of? Anybody, anybody? Raise your hand, throw it up high. Abra oh, Ruby knows it. Abra His name is Abra. Abra. Abraham Lincoln. Woohoo! Isaac, do you agree? Do you think it was Abraham Lincoln? He does. Thank you, Isaac. All right. We are here at Abraham Lincoln Memorial. He was the 16th president. That's right. Not the 15th, not the 17th, but the 16th. President of the United States. That's something you're going to need to remember. 1660. And 
when you climb all the way up those stairs, you will see him perched. Really hard to see it right here. But I think, no, he's on this side. He's on one of the sides. And that's where his statue resides, the Lincoln Memorial. Ooh, look at the obelisk in the back. We're going to visit that place next. Get ready. Get your walking shoes on. It's a long walk. The Lincoln Memorial commemorates the life of Abraham Lincoln, the what? 16th president of the United States. The building is built in the Greek style with 16 enormous columns. They represent the 36 states of the Union at that time. It had 36 columns. Can you guys go back and look at that again? Look, there are 36 of these columns all the way around the sides of the Lincoln Memorial. Each column represented one of the states at that time. They didn't have 50 states at that time. They only had 36 when he died in 1865. That statue was sculpted by a gentleman named Daniel Chester French. And did you know that the hands and his face, they actually made a plaster cast. Have you ever seen that where you stick your hand in that mushy plaster and then you let it dry and take it out? You have a perfect statue of your hand. They do that with uh, like your, um, your feet prints or, you know, like you could make little stones with your feet prints. That's what they did for his hands and his face so that it was perfectly accurate. And if you zoom in, you can see that his hands are his real hands. And let's see, did you notice that Lincoln's hands, when you explored the Lincoln Memorial, one hand is clenched and the other hand is relaxed. I wonder why the sculptor might have done that. We don't have time to talk about that, but it's food for thought. I wonder what that means. And look at his face. It's, they actually used a cast of his face so that it's super accurate. All right, scoop, scooch, scooch. Let's explore one more famous symbol of America very close by. We talked about that obelisk. Remember that one we were going to walk to? This landmark honors another American president. Let's see what it's called and see if you can figure out where it is. We were going to walk to... Whoa, the Washington Monument. Who is that? Who does this symbol honor? Oh, Isaac, go. What president mm -hmm. does this one honor? Washington. Oh yeah, what's his full name? Joel. Joel Washington. George Washington, very good, thank you. So look at this big obelisk. That's what that's called. It's like a big tower, if you will. There's no rooms in it. I don't, I don't think you can climb up a little bit, but people can't go in there. Like it's closed off. And it's just a tall, skinny tower. No windows. Do you see any windows? I don't either. So this is a symbol anywhere in the world. If anyone knows anything about George Washington, they know about this beautiful obelisk tower that was constructed to honor him. He was our first president. Remember, Lincoln was our 16th. George Washington was our first president. The Washington Monument is an obelisk, obelisk, on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. It was built to honor the first president of the United States. What's his name? George Washington. It's one of the tallest buildings in Washington and it dominates the skyline. What do you know about George Washington? What do you think the Washington Mon Monument symbolizes? What does it mean? Any answer is a good answer. What do you know about George Washington? Why would they build an obelisk? in his honor. Hmm. Ooh, they're typing some stuff in. Let's see if anyone's, you got 30 seconds left. Twenty seconds. Oh, I saw an answer come and go. <laughs> Ten seconds. It's okay if you don't have any. Oh, first president. Very good, Ruby. I think that George Washington would definitely make a oh, great country of Washington, D.C. Yeah, Leon, definitely. He made an excellent president. You're right. Emmy says she doesn't know, and that's totally fine. 
I don't mind that at all. Isaac says, first president, first president. That's right. It's almost like that obelisk is saying, I'm number one. Stick up your finger, make your obelisk. I'm number one. <laughs> Does it look like it might symbolize that? Excellent, guys. Let's move on. Let's dig a little deeper. Uh, symbols often have many meanings. Symbols that represent America often have other meanings too. These meanings help tell a story about America and give us clues about its values and culture. Mm, let's see, let's play this all together. It's very short. And then guys, we're wrapping up, we're almost done. With the US right. symbols. Keep watching. US symbols. Celebrate our country. Ooh, I like those eyeballs. The Thank US you guys. Symbols. We celebrate our country. Liberty Bell. Statue of Liberty. Oh, remember that, guys? That was given to us by France. With the U.S. symbol. <laughs> red, white, and blue. We celebrate Fireworks and the flag. With the U.S. symbol. We celebrate our country. Mm -hmm. Oh, the bald eagle. Bald eagle. American flag. With the U.S. symbols. We celebrate our country. With the U.S. symbols. We celebrate our country. George Washington. George Washington. First president. Abraham Lincoln. What was his number? Anybody remember? Who Mount knows it? Rushmore. Go Mackenzie. 16. 16th. Was that the right, Addy? Yes, yeah, she says. You're right. Great work. Did you see Mount Rushmore? Country. That was a. Uh, uh, with the U.S. Four very symbols. important. Oh, wait a minute. There's a dog there. <laughs> we celebrate our country. I wanted to go back to that, but I don't have time. White House. The White House. You guys know that one. With the U.S. symbols. All right, we're getting closer to the end. Keep watching. We celebrate our country. Here's that obelisk. With the U.S. symbols. There's the Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. We celebrate our country. Statue of Liberty. George Washington. With the U.S. symbols. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, there he is. Our country. Bald eagle. Abraham Lincoln. Bald eagle. Where's that Washington American monument Bell. obelisk? We celebrate our country. Liberty Bell. doesn't look like it's in the tower. I bet they have one in the tower and this is down the stand. All right, let's go. I need to go there and visit, don't I? Class discussion. Let's consider all the symbols you've explored on the following slide. What do they all have in common? Who do they represent? What place do they represent? Who knows it? Leon, United. Go ahead, tell me. United. United, United what? United, United, States. United States of America. Woohoo! You did it. Great work. That's right. That's what they all symbolize. They have special meanings, each one of them, but they all symbolize our country. Let's reflect. All right, here's our quiz, guys. Super easy. Number one, match the symbol in the picture. Oh, remember all those columns? What place was that? Was it the White House, U.S. Capitol, or the Lincoln Memorial? Oh, do you remember? Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Keep looking. Thank you. If you said Lincoln Memorial, you got it right. Let's do the next one. Abraham Lincoln was the what? President of the United States. The first one, the 10th one, or the 16th one? Who gets that one? 
Abraham Lincoln was the first president, the 10th president, or the 16th president? Who you got? Got it right. If you said 16th, let's go on to the next part. Remember the Liberty Bell? It was rung to celebrate important events like what? The first public reading of the Declaration of Independence, the Super Bowl, or every time a president visits? If you said A, you remembered that the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence, they probably rang it for that. Okay, some very important events. The Washington Monument, what is it? It's a tower, an obelisk, or a pyramid? Oh, I can't wait to see if you guys remember. We're on number four. The Washington Monument is a tower, an obelisk, or a pyramid? What do you remember me saying? Ooh, this change in your answers. It's not really a tower, guys. There's no windows. It looks like kind of like a tower, but it was called a special name. Who remembers what name? Oh, you guys are forgetting. Tower, obelisk, or pyramid? Oh, they're changing their answers. Yes, if you said obelisk, you got it right. It looks like the number one, obelisk. Isn't that a weird name for a type of a building? It's not really a tower. It doesn't really have windows, does it? Mm -mm. Okay, let's go on to the last question. Which of the following is not a symbol of America? The US flag, a kangaroo, a bald eagle, or a White House, the White House the White House. So which one's not a symbol of America? Does not represent the United States of America in any way. The flag, US flag, a kangaroo, the bald eagle, or the White House? I wish they put the in front of it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you said kangaroo, you got it right. Wow. Okay, we got this. Guys, we're all done. You learned so much today about about what did you learn about today does anybody remember what, what were we doing today <laughs> who knows it where's my teacher helper ava what were we learning about today george washington just george were we only listening about george or was it was there stuff about george and other things stuff about george and other things what other things are we learning about let me give you the first three letters, sim, 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 symbol, symbols, uh, <laughs> that's right, a symbol, very good, so symbols, which means, I don't know, could mean an animal, could mean a place, a landmark, or a thing, like a flag, right? So we have, we have different types of symbols that represent our country. That's right. The, our United States flag, everybody recognizes it all over the world. They know exactly what country it's from. Okay. So let's see. Anybody else want to share anything or have any questions before we go? Ooh, I see Emmy's hand so fast. Go, Emmy. I'll go grab it right quick. Okay, go. Then I'm going to go with Miss Desiree and then Mackenzie. Desiree, hi, honey. We was learning about the United States. That's right, and very important parts of the United States, which which are symbols of the United States. Very good, thank you, Desiree. And now I'm going to wait. I said Mackenzie, go. Symbols can rep represent things like countries or states. Very good. Brilliant connection to our states within our country. That's absolutely wonderful. We have special symbols that represent just Florida, don't we? Yeah. Oh, I wonder if there's a different flag just for us Floridians. Hmm. Awesome. Okay, thank you for that. Anybody else?